Iran is set to add fresh fuel to the ongoing conflict in Ukraine, as reports indicate that it is preparing to supply Russia with advanced ballistic missiles. European intelligence sources cited by Reuters have disclosed that Russian military personnel are undergoing training in Iran on how to operate these missile systems with the delivery of FAT-360 short-range ballistic missiles expected soon. According to these sources who requested anonymity due to the sensitivity of the information, Russian Defense Ministry officials secured a deal with Tehran on December 13th. The contract, signed with Iran's state-owned aerospace industries organization, AIO, includes the FAT-360 and another missile system known as the Ababil. The FAT-360 missile system, capable of reaching targets up to 120 kilometers away with a 150 kilograms warhead, could offer Russia a strategic advantage on the battlefield. Analysts suggest that while Russia has its own arsenal of ballistic missiles, the Iranian weapons could allow it to conserve its resources for long-range targets, using the FAR-360S for engagements closer to the front lines. The US National Security Council, NSC, has expressed concern over these developments, warning that Iran's missile transfers to Russia would represent a serious escalation of its involvement in the Ukraine war. An NSC spokesperson indicated that the United States, along with its NATO allies and G7 partners, is ready to respond if these transfers occur. Up until now, Iran's involvement in the conflict had been limited to providing Shahed drones to Russian forces. The potential deployment of Iranian ballistic missiles introduces a new and potentially more dangerous element to Tehran's support for Moscow. While the White House has not confirmed the intelligence reports, the possibility of Iranian missiles being used in Ukraine has sparked renewed apprehension in both Washington and Europe. Iran's permanent mission to the United Nations has denied any transfer of weapons, including the FAT-360 that could be used in the Ukraine war. Nevertheless, European intelligence officials maintain that the training of Russian personnel in Iran indicates that these missiles will soon be delivered to Russia. Experts warn that the arrival of Iranian missiles could further strain Ukraine's missile defense systems, potentially forcing Kyiv to rely more heavily on its most advanced air defenses, such as the US-made Patriot and European SAMP-T systems. These developments come as Iran's newly elected president, Masoud Petseshkian, who had previously signaled a shift towards a more moderate foreign policy, faces criticism for actions that seem to contradict his earlier statements. Although the United Nations Security Council's restrictions on Iranian missile exports expired in October 2023, the United States and European Union have kept sanctions on Iran's ballistic missile program, citing concerns that it could intensify conflicts like the one in Ukraine. Russia has started delivering advanced air defense and radar equipment to Iran according to Iranian officials cited by the New York Times. The move comes after Tehran formally requested the arms from the Kremlin, and sources within the Islamic Revolutionary Guards Corps confirmed that the shipments are already underway. This development coincides with heightened tensions in the Middle East, following the alleged assassination of Hamas political leader Ismail Haniyeh in Tehran, on July 31st, an act for which Iran holds Israel responsible. In response, Iranian leaders have vowed to retaliate, intensifying fears that the region could be edging closer to a broader conflict.